Tonight, the Republican trying to unseat Senator Mark Kelly under fire, accused of scrubbing his campaign website. Blake Masters recently removed controversial language about two of the most important issues which to helped him get elected, at least when it comes to the GOP primary. Dennis Welch is live from our newsroom tonight with more on what happened. Dennis? Yeah, and these changes really come as Masters tries to appeal to more moderate voters for the general election who may not agree with those more partisan stances that helped him win in the primary. Now, it appears Masters Masters is trying to soften his stances on the 2020 election and on abortion. And to show you what Masters had to say during the primary campaign, we had to go back and search the Internet Archive, the Wayback Machine, which shows that prior to winning the nomination, Masters appeared to push the disproven claim that the 2020 election was rigged. Writing on the website in June, Masters said the 2020 election was a rotten mess. If we had a free and fair election, President Trump would be sitting in the Oval Office. Now, as of this morning, his website makes no mention of, tr of Trump losing in an election. Now, on abortion, Masters previously wrote that he would support a federal personhood law. Critics claim that these personhood laws could lead to an outright ban on all abortions after conception. And just weeks later, Masters' site only mentions that he supports a ban on late-term abortions and stripping away any federal funding from Planned Parenthood. Now, incumbent Senator Mark Kelly responded this afternoon to Masters changing his website, and Mr. Kelly also clarified his stand on abortion. You know, it's his, it's his website. Um, you know, I think it's important for folks to know where people, you know, stand on their issues, and you can, you know, see that in, in individuals' comments. I support a women's right to make these decisions between them and their doctor, you know, what was in a constitutional right that was codified via, you know, Roe v. Wade. Um, and there are certainly limits on, on that. Now, in response to our questions, the Masters campaign issued a statement that said, in part, the campaign website was updated post-primary to draw a sharp contrast with Mark Kelly's radical left-wing views on a number of issues. Now, during a conversation I had today with a political consultant, they actually mentioned to me that Masters is not the only Republican softening their stand on it when it comes to abortion, that this is happening across the country. In the newsroom, Dennis Welch, Arizona's family. Dennis